We got big personalities in the server today. Format. You got one best of three to play, and if you lose, you're out. Okay? There's no room to lose. You either perform. Poggers don't usually lose. Or you shut up. <laughs> that is statistically <laughs> a fact. Lobanitsa going to be trying to get himself out from connector, but Stown has been sitting on the stairs. They're oh. jumping into him. He'll take two players out. We actually have Poggers with a man advantage. Now that gets taken away because Tess didn't get the memo. Doc and Loba. Let's call it as it is. Kind of the stars of this lineup. The Pog in the Poggers. And Tessa's looking for the 3K pistol. 1v2. Can he do it, though? That's the question. Working in from jungle. Still has a smoke. Oh, and Doc just got one tapped. Now it falls on Loba. He is, of course, over towards ramp. Tessa's not aware of his position and looking in the wrong way. But now he's got wind of what's up. Tessa's... Oh! And he, you know, he kind of came in as the Titan. Uh, I saw him go cross-country skiing. Loba on skis? About as... Makes about... Yep, yeah, makes about it's as exactly much sense as you think. what you think it looked like. Yes. Okay. But uh, he wasn't the worst. And that's, I think, I think that's Loba's motto. Wasn't the worst. He's not the worst. Okay. I have never met Loba. You did today. True, yeah. It's all mine. Scouts and pistols. Ooh. KD gonna open up the Tessess and spawns is clearing players as well. Very easily off of the B site. This is a very simple conversion. Walk up in. Finish them all off. KD and Scout maybe gonna find something if you can couple it nicely with Stown. Uh, but nope. Loba's gotten into the back line. Nice shot from Kadian. You know, there's this question of like, are Heroic going to be coming into the server hot? Are Heroic going to underestimate their opponents? But I think Heroic have entered this season of blast with nothing but. Mm -hmm. Which I did, I did pick them officially. I think everybody did. Yeah. Everybody should have. Yeah. Not to. It was a misclick, actually. My fault. We can change that. Alex, change that. I don't think you have that power here. I'm strong, like Loba strong. A little flash over connector. Smoke to give him cover. And everybody's gonna die yet again. So heroic. I said they lost a pistol to Poggers, but it's it's actually Poggers when, now. When will they stop up. doubting? When will they stop okay. being surprised? When will they realize? Realize, realize, realize. Stop with the propaganda, Mohan. It's not propaganda. I it feels kind of propaganda-ish. A little bit. Just a little bit. Facts don't care about heroic. Okay. Supposed to is such a key word here. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's a- that's free. Yeah, if they go cat, though. Yes, oh. sir. Yeah! Da, na, Showdown! Da, na, na. Yeah! <laughs> Smoke the top connector. No peek off of the catwalk. Loba's going to be given a little bit of room. Big emphasis here on ramp, but the moment they wanted to go... Look how fast they are. The smokes land, so they're just going to force their heads through it. Stown sitting underneath the balcony. Shush looking to set the crossfire. Two-player sandwich. They die. There's a team kill in the middle at the hands of Oscar, but at least a utility frag. 4v2. Dawkins spawns. Again, utility really keeping them back. So far, that's what we've seen from Heroic. They smoke top ramp just as they want to exit. They smoke in, uh, they Molotov Palace just as they want to exit. Feel like Poggers got kind of choked out by grenade usage. They were so, they they had, they made so much time. Look, there's still a full minute up and they're on the site after losing all these players. They could have actually, if they scaled a little bit better there, they could have got those trades. But I think they got maybe stopped by a counter flash. And under Balk got two kills. Okay. Double CT peak, poised to take down Doc. If he can keep it sharp, then maybe he creates a little bit of space here, but two terrorists stacked up behind this smoke. He's gonna go for the off-angle bomb plant, and he gets away with it. Heroic, content to just let these guys stay stranded inside of the bomb site. That's a miss smoke, clearly over towards jungle. But it didn't even cost them. I do feel like Heroic have given them a lot of room in this 4v2, but it also like enabled it. for the flank to come around from ramp. Now you have a bit of utility, and Tess dies out. It's just about dealing with Doc, right? Doc is supposed to be that one, that, that one freaking yeah. haymaker punch. Mm -hmm. You know, if Doc really swings for the fences today, mm -hmm. then maybe something connects. But as expected, Heroic 
You know, using a little bit of style to... It's all on the line here. But listen, the, the fact that they got mid-control that quickly, got down Kector, that was... That was good. Oh, or he's gonna phase this? Okay, I hear this now. Down that's, goes Loba. Yeah, that's free. So I'm going to connect her too. They're trying the same split. Doc, double dink through the box. Shush is gone. Ooh. Oh, missed shot by Kadian. That's going to give him another little bit of a chance here. Again, just hit him, hit by these flashbangs, man. Poggers very much getting stunned on their exit. Good damage from Stown's A1S. He is not alone on this ticket peak. Oh my god, we're planning for CT. Oh, he's blind again. Tess has just the one frag. Doc doing everything he has to. Two kills, but still no bomb plants. So again, another round where it kind of gets iced out. Things slow down and down. Nice snap down into Doc. Post plant? Mm, only what for the, the moment. Yeah, Stown's doing what he does. Oscar, I'm ready to be impressed. Nade chunks him down to a quarter HP and Stown, at least not the punching ones. Look at Loba, support player. Buying utility, calling strats, setting the team up for success. Also trying to be that consistency in mid, right? The two gun rounds, the head-to-head -head gun rounds we've seen, it's just been this solo mid into heavy ramp emphasis play. Oh. So far, Heroic are 100% are winning the utility game. Whether that's through damage or flashbangs or smokes to cool off hits. Yeah, we all have opinions. <laughs> Never let him rest. Keep coming. <laughs> they inch their way into connector. Loba's Tech 9 at the front. And oh yes, my sir. goodness, he's yes, got time sir. two players in the window. Now he has oh, his hands oh. onto the AWP, but oh. then Doc gets the headshot in middle. A 5v3 because we just had Loba walk through a smoke. Oh. Yes! And then he uses that picked up AWP to kill Shush. If they can survive with five, then Poggers are he's about off. to... Oh, he hit him. him! Yo, Loba's not He's literally Kadian. Tessas is going to team kill while he spams through smoke. He got the headshot <laughs> against Refresh. Couldn't do that again if he tried. And Poggers, well... They have a two-to-one lead now, in terms of ratio of score. They've won exactly double the rounds of Heroic. What do you have to say about that? Go ahead. I, Simple, I love that. You're saying we, like you're a part of us. Poggers. All of us. Yeah, we just walked through that smoke. I mean, okay. I'm imbued with the energy yeah. of Poggers. Yeah. A team who has two times the rounds of the other team. If it was the other way around, I mean, I would be honest about that. I just haven't seen them lose very much. In fact, I've only ever seen them lose one map. But Stown's gonna get the They kill only get lucky dunk. kills through smokes. That's the only way you stop Poggers. Refresh sitting at the bottom of connector, two players down to his left, and there is still cover at the top of middle. This is a fresh face from Heroic, right? I think they're just trying to get ahead of whatever Poggers is throwing at them, and I do feel like there's going to be a, this, like, feeling out period where Heroic don't really know what to expect. So, last round they got caught by that heavy emphasis in mid. This round they were there to fight it, spam through smokes, got their kill, set up their 5v4. Now it's just about closing that. Just about finishing it off, and if they head towards B, then Cadian's op is posted. With Stown right next to him. There it is. Sure enough. First bullet, first kill for Kadian. Utility comes back over. Loba still going to be that late mid lurk. But they're hoping that Oscar can counter pick this. And as he stays scoped in, Stown decides to go adventurously over top of the van ledge. Makes this one all the harder for Poggers. They really just can't find any ca contact. Kadian doing a very good job of just remaining like a statue. Pinned into this back site. Oh, hold on. But there it is. The, the X factor. If there he wasn't can actually a jump by, oh. he can he can leave, and he's gonna run as well. And there's <laughs> he doesn't even want to chase. Now they can hear him the entire way, but they he knows that off cat anyway. So we'll see. Dodges a nade here. They're gonna double swing on the cat player, and it looks like they do some good damage. He Ten can't seconds. even peek anymore. The plant's gonna come down. It's coming down. No, no, no. Shush is gonna rotate up through ramp and just shoot both of them in the back. They line up. He dies. Loba keeps this round alive, and now they're in the post plant. And one's low, and he doesn't jump. They get no. both to they get both in the best post plan possible. Guess yes, rotate around through mid. Go for the long con if heroic take too long. It's over. No. Kadian's low, baby. This is done. Let's go next round. Pogger's about to two v five. 
83% chance of winning this, according to the AI. Now 90, because Loba is into the best of positions. <laughs> That's his 10th kill in seven ah. rounds. Refresh is getting pilled between two directions, and he gets... five actually. Now we're back into pistols. This T-side's about to take off. Oh, easy, easy farm. Get Let's it out of the way. Go. That's all. That's all. But they go onto that double op setup. This CT side has already lost a five versus two. And Poggers are going to continue to waste no time. They came into Mirage with nothing but victory on their minds. Tessess is already oh. dead, but Refresh comes out from the market door. He's going to add a 2k to the mix and then looks for a little bit more. They do slow down a bit. He's been spotted and called, and the rest of the team is trying to come over as fast as possible, but Oscar does alleviate that little bit of pressure. They've got the space in this post plan. Two ops missed, but remember, two ops, and they're both here for the retake. Not ideal. Stown's going to disrespect this cat smoke and hope that Oscar maybe steps into his sniper. Oscar has no reason to move. He's got teammates already locking in all the other positions. There's no apartments flank whatsoever either. So CTs are limited here. They just need to walk in, scoped in, and they are going to die in doing so. This was a heavy investment, and Kadian, it doesn't even look like he's going to take this chance because the bomb is so far gone. Poggers now leading 7 to 2. Let's go. And they got some money to buy as well. They can afford to lose these guns. Doc would love to take down this final op saving, but... Venture both in Counter-Strike and just in life. I'm a very open-minded guy. <laughs> I'm ready for, for anything to happen. Always down to go with the flow. Okay. This, yes. I did not expect. Okay. Oh, man. I think that was an important pick based on the rounds that we've seen so far. They're just going to flood through middle, double frag grenade to keep down off of the peak. Yeah, they're taking some damage, but they just jump along. Now Kadian's still very much in this mix. Had he gotten that first shot, it would be the 5v3. But Spawn's still in a good enough position here to just keep culling the numbers of these CTs. And as Kadian's pistol arrows fall around him, he's gonna have to rely on Refresh to maybe come into the mix with that one other weapon. All three CTs here inside Market, bomb planted. They still have Loba in mid as well. The cats, it's a cat plan, isn't it? Yes. So he can come in super late. So a little bit of a man advantage here. Disregard the pistol. Oh, the setup's great. He's just going to spot the cross and then the swing will come, but he can get opt off the swing. We'll see if Kadian hits the shot. Smoke on bomb. Kadian does get KD, but Dog's able to answer versus Shush. Lobanitsa's is dead. And oh, oh, refresh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're looking for that moment. So the opt to punish is really smart from Kadian. And of course, I mean, refresh is the reason they're able to win in that post plan. Looks like Poggers are setting their sights where this T side very much began. Back into A. And credit, they've done cat splits, they've done A ramp scrims, they've done uh, B split so far, or uh, B hits, excuse me. 2v5 actually on that B hit. <laughs> really, really gonna emphasize that one. But Kadian on the top of the staircase, sees a player inside a palace, that's gonna keep him fixated, and now Shush can make his play previously Unbeknownst, Doc dies, and that's the bomb dropped at the feet of Kadian, who is now starting to pop off. He yeah, they are leaving all three choke points open and yeah. taking things they can take over stairs control, but they're always just getting counter flash, running up, getting blind, and getting stuck before they get to the stairs. And off from stairs should never be able to multi frag like that on an A hit, so that's a big problem. But we're a new team, we grow together round by round. I think this is actually like the one matchup where a little bias is perfectly fair. Power him up. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. I've seen Loba do great things from Connector. Oh, maybe. I mean, they wouldn't expect him to timing again, but Shush is watching. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going stairs, though. Okay, never mind. They do seem a bit wary of it. Ooh, barrel spotted by Kadian, but Oof. dropped down to the base of Connector. Oh man, that's that's a lot of info. Pop off cat as well. Ooh, All the refresh. refresh. Up. Yep. Activates from his corner. Finds Loba. Now the rest of Poggers are just going to be flooding up through Khan. Trying to take over this A site. But crossfire is good. Shush. And refresh with another. Doc will clear that close corner. Hold Gotta up. be cautious with Doc in the equation. 2v2. <laughs> and he's looking for another one off of the catwalk. 
Yeah, look at the respect here. CT's just gonna forego a little bit of control. Doc currently 16 and 6. Damn. Bomb planted open for Cat. No challenge from Tessez. Scrawn, before we start, 2v4. Oh no. Tessez comes in from connectors, starts missing some shots, peeks out, finishes one off. But it's all about Doc. He's the only reason that they got back into this. And he's going to have to be the reason it gets closed down against Heroic. Poggers looking to keep that 2 to 1 round win ratio. Tessez pushing inwards. Frag grenades on the money. Oh. I'm off a bit. Chill. Talk about a strat. Have a break. Put him on ice. Yeah, exactly. Heroic are going to have to start busting out the major strats now. Oh, I thought they were going to save those. Lobo wins. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Stown's down to a quarter HP. That's a Mac 10 underground push from a Mac Daddy. 28 frags between Doc and Loba. The most known entities of this team, and Oscar's gonna win that fight versus Shush, but then the double ops pay off. Heroic, three kills immediately, and the last two remaining players for Poggers are also already wounded. Not to mention split. One on Cat, one connector. But we've seen Loba in these kind of, these late round moments really come alive, really energize what seems like unwinnable rounds. So benefit of the doubt is given. Oscar kills down, Kadian catches Loba. That's four kills for the Ops on Heroic side. Oh, they've dropped, okay, they've, they've dropped it. Oh, but it is pistols, it is pistols. Mm -hmm. You don't want that Ops to become a liability. And they're gonna throw a player to the top of mid. Heroic feeling like they've got a risk to run, a little space to work in this one. Poggers have shown us some uninspiring A plays. And Shush is going to shut down Loba. Good A1S spray away from Refresh. Another moment where he's... The other thing, yeah. yeah that's he didn't the... say that on the box. He had to be good. Yeah. Never read the it fine print. It just said, print. on sale. Never miss a spray. It's like the side effects of, you know... Upgraded damage. This would... This might be able... To, this might bite them. They're waiting for a mid push, actually. Oscar's got the AK up front. It's Oscar and Doc. Ooh, refresh. Another Jesus. two kills. Anyway, that's looking easy. Oh, Loba, up. not going to be able to phase through that smoke with the Tech 9. He's already made that play happen once. So, tons of damage done. I can't believe that no matter what, Poggers have a lead after this T side. And a lead with a 2v5 and a 2v4. Wow. Quite something. And just because they're nice, they let them win a 3v2. Give him a little confidence back the other way. Tessess finishes off Doc. That's the bomb dropped. And it spawns Chance with 100 health to go for the 1v4. All things considered, Poggers exceeding most expectations. Half our expectations. I can't say all because some players, some people, are madmen. And Spawn, well, he's already picked up one kill, lost zero HP for that one. Tag Tessess down to 50, sees the... You believe the better team. But I don't think Heroic were prepared for this kind of a start to the day. Sometimes you get shook. Dude, they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose. And sometimes that can make you lose. This would be the, this would be the upset of the year. Unfathomable. Oh, yeah, we get to see some Doc skins. This guy's got some good style. Okay. King Snakes with the whiteout. Loba. Late palace play. We've got everybody basically on this bomb site. Tetris player comes back in. They're like, Stown, where were you? And now they move forward into Doc, who's got himself another couple of players ahead, but Tessess gets him dead. Refresh as well, gonna add to the tally, and the pistol seems to go swimmingly. Poggers about to lose that one round lead. Oscar. This is about the fans, as, is, as it is as much about the win. And that's why they lost the pistol. Is this like, you know, like, like Austin Powers, Dr. Evil kind of evil? Like, he's still pitiful, kind of funny. You could get along with him, but he's a little weird type evil. Yes. It's like everybody likes their own scent kind of evil. Mm. Never a truer statement. Single scout, pistols around it. Whole exec by himself here for refresh so they can get started on the exec, which is pretty cool. Playing it proper. 
Scout off of the mark. Cadian already through the window. Here's this departure in CT spawn. And if Heroic just pumped the brakes, then you'd think he has it. But Spawn turns around, gets the Deegan. Now, Heroic, they were waiting for that moment from Cadian, but now everybody's just ready to go to work. Oscar off the top, chops down Tessa's three versus three created. Now the man advantage. Spawns will be traded by Shush. The bomb is down in no man's land, and that's not ideal for Heroic, but neither are the weapons for Poggers. So despite this 2v2, they're still going to have to go the extra mile, 30 seconds. And Oscar still hunts. Two flashes, no smoke, and no CT control. One spotted on the default. And keep this pressure up. Shush. But now they've got an opening on CT spawn. Oscar takes his chance. KD69Z. Let's see it. Shush is a single shot from death. Stown is really the kingpin in this 2v1. KD's position, of course, known, still has the smoke. And he's going to start pushing this one forward. Is it cool wave that can also be impactful? Few pistols to work with. That one M4 on dock is a curious sight. Trying to still upset in the rocky waters. Loba held in the corner, but still able to get the headshot versus refresh. Didn't anticipate a second T to come out from that palace and down to the top of Tetris. Also continues to cull the CTs off of A site. Now the utility is thrown forward, but dock still very much the question mark in this one. And if they sleep on the possibility of an M4, maybe this hard carry, 20 and 11, pops off. Bomb planted, finds the back of a single player in Stown. But now, left with 5 HP, the odds are so incredibly slim. Tessas gets the better of him. Just make sure that Poggers feel like they have no breathing room in their defaults and then go into something else. It looks like almost a repeat of what we saw in that previous round with a, a more so full A exec. I think they stole this strap from Poggers, actually. Okay, dude, okay. Loba holds the line. Dog oh, the line. not bad. That's the frag. It's still up. Loba's doing the work, and Oscar's even got himself into the mix. First gun round looking good for Poggers, unless... Stown chops down Oscar in sight. The CT's currently split. They're going to have to synergize this. And this isn't when Loba or Doc can really add frags to the tally, okay? This is when the support staff of this Poggers squad needs to also show up to play. Loba did a great job. Two kills on the round. Doc fully blinded, even added one. This is the chance to prove that so long as the hard hitters continue, Poggers have a chance. Shot off of the CT. Loba, in-game leader and coach. That was a good hold from Loba. Physical trainer, <laughs> dietitian, Therapist. Astronaut, marksman. Scout, talent, streamer, father, break dancer, break dancer. All right. Heroic economy, weird spot. How our CT is going to play this? Loba has already gone. He kind of pried into palace, made sure nobody was sitting on his throne and vacates it so that he can also go check ramp. Loba's doing a lot in terms of informational gameplay. Always play with confidence. Gathering all the clues he can. Wow, he goes all the way through the ramp. Mm -hmm. Now he's reading into B, yeah. and it is looking like it actually. Ooh, but versus Tess he's got to make sure he doesn't die here. That would be a Vomus offered over. Easy for Loba. Doesn't even take a point of damage. Doesn't even move. No cardio there for Loba. But then Cadian trying to play like Loba, mm. challenges top connector, looks to jump into the windowsill. Everyone's idle. And Loba has been drawn back from that forward play. But again, because he did what he did, they stacked up on this B site. Stown, very clean headshot and another one. He's just going to go ahead and rip through this B site. A third Stown stepping up, AK looking crisp. And as he doubles back okay. to- Mack truck into the B site, taking names. Stown. 23 and 14 at the moment, 20 rounds deep. We're in the back third, ladies and gentlemen. And Poggers are still trying to keep it alive, but on a round like this, it should fall flat. Everybody towards the B side of the map is already dead, so Heroic wasting no time. Good old copy and paste. Which is really just, you know, plagiarizing. 
plagiarizing yet. So. Yeah. If anything, it's pretty stale from Heroic, mm -hmm. you know, doing the same thing two exactly. rounds in a row. Right, right. And we did get the, uh, you know, they copied a lot of, you know, Cadian lives in the shadow of Loba. Mm. Plus they used the A split coming out. Stown's trying to copy the score line of Doc. It's, yeah. Heroic might be winning, but, like, they haven't won a 2v5 on their T side yeah. yet. Heroic are just Wikipedia to the source. I get it. I get it. Loba gonna save his investment. Two rounds now. We've seen uh, Poggers come in with this unorthodox, like, solo M4 buy. Doc did it in round. And fickle lead that Heroic have coming into round 22. Ooh, Oscar not oh. comfortable. <sighs> Nothing like sitting by the fireplace. Make it s'mores. Nice oh, shot from Oscar. Sees a connector alert coming out. They spot this. Player yeah, underneath. Spot under Belk, yeah. KD good for one, but Tessas takes two off of the site. This is Doc down empty handed. Poggers could emphasize the ticket retake. Right now, Heroic are a little bit focused on Connector, and as they push down into CT, then maybe they're going to give away the fight. Good flashbang. They've got two players stuck. They Ooh. line up for it. And this three versus three retake looks good, unless refresh. The X Factor in that first half goes big, but Oscar keeps around to CS. You gotta love that, yeah. We got that off kill, like you said. And then a, a solid hold on the A side holds. They've been really good. They've at least. Off to B we go with just a few Mac 10s. Grenade left and spawn for the rotator. Fast hit coming in. Oh, he gets stuck in the window, doesn't make the jump. Man, now it's just kind of a mow down. They're stuck. This They're one's smoke. shut off. Yeah. But the very best teams in Counter-Strike can win 2v4s, can win 2v5s. Mm -hmm. Sometimes 3v5s as well. Maybe they'll have to think like the best. To be able to manufacture a way out. Now, there is still time on the clock, and there were two MAC-10s on the play, so... Not an atrocious, atrocious situation for Heroic, but, uh, you know, of course it's going to be clear that that was a failed exec and there was space to grab, but the CTs didn't need to take any because they got kills without losing anyone. And this is going to activate more pieces from the T side. Yeah, refresh and Tessess looking to join through middle. Still jumping up in window thinking someone's in there, but it's not. It's spawn. Cautious on cat at a three man stack on CT. They're watching all the right spots and they have two CT watching AD stairs. One. Gets answered back immediately. Bomb's been reacquired, but just as he put his hands on it, Loba gets his hands on his head. Now it's up to refresh. How many times is he going to be pushed into the clutch and how many? So put open. They had no reason to fight it. They just watched the back exit and they were ready for any kind of A rotation. Got that info safely. What more can you ask? They don't have the clutch. They don't really have the talent. I'm not really sure what Heroic have. A lead. A lead, okay. At least. For now. Window smoke to help Stown. And a heavy presence in mid this time from Heroic. This is feeling like a much more real round, if you will. This is where Heroic should be at their absolute strongest. And this is what this kind of setup puts the absolute most amount of pressure on your top con jungle player. You can see Doc switching between two angles from the stairs. He's got a lot to worry about. But oh, he'll free himself from this position off a of flash. Now the A pressure is going to come through. 20 seconds, man. Heroic playing against the clock. Oh. Loba over top of ticket smoke. 
Refresh able to trade one. Kadian gets that off shot in. There's a fight within the smoke, and Katie comes out on top. Now that's ramp control offered to Poggers. Ten seconds, and Kadian gives the cover that Refresh needs to at least get the bomb in. Man disadvantage on the retake, both of which come in from Ticket, and Kadian's looking sharp on it. Nice minute flick into spawns, so Oscar has to go huge. Opper v Opper to try and get his hooks into this retake, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Heroic, they're not going to let this lead slip. Stown. He concedes it. Yeah, Stown and Kadian having a couple of insane rounds to themselves. Absolutely, unbelievably important trades. You're going to have to give it to them sometimes, and then it's really just about figuring out what, what is their final destination and what are the timings that we can find gaps in and figuring out those smoke spams and... Uh, when to when to just swing? Obviously, that's the magic. And uh, Poggers did find a couple of openings there, but no surprise for are able to win. You know, very very strong defaulty round like that. Gonna try to barrage their way into the B site. They drop down onto Oscar. He gets nothing. Spawn still not known about, they and Loba oh. off with a double kill. Shush dies inside of his own Molotov, and Loba stands despite getting hit by Kadian's hot off. Tesses quick swap in oh terms of damage, but he goes down to 36. And Kadian's going to continue on. He has the damn bomb. And if he dies with it in the back of market, then you'd think Poggers take a 12. Kadian, no chill. Oh, he's got it all. That's how real this upset truly felt. Feels. <clears throat> Feels. Relegated to the double MP9 triple upgraded pistol. Pete gets caught. Yo, Kadian has started to, to become the difference maker and then some. I'd say back-to-back -back rounds where he bails them out with that op. Absolutely hit some great shots. And once again, just out to the default inside of mid, which is so hard to disrespect. Oh, connector we go versus these anti-ecos. This could be the round for Heroic with the money invested. So there is a little bit saved. This is ambitious, but... Oh, he's kind of made a move. Ooh, takes down one. Loba comes back from ramp, then gets wrecked by Shush. Good cover. Oh, Kadian unscopes, but Shush... Ha Again, if we came into this with, with any sort of individual expectations for Poggers, it had to have been those two names. I didn't think Loba would outfrag Doc. And Loba's actually been making some, like, playmaker moments, you know, Impact. pushing for info. Like, he's... Yeah. And also leading, like, genuinely has earned more respect than I thought I would give him across the event in this first map. Doc, it's his chance to shine. Adds one to the tally, but there is a second T down in the underground. Two kills back from Heroic, and they're looking to close out 16-11. Looking to come back from what was a lost lead in the first half. Loba and Oscar, all that's left over, and Tess wants this one done with. Loba's gonna have to do everything, and...